So these are the specs for the actual stepper driver itself. It's the A4988 stepper driver. Your stepper driver may be made by a different company, but they're all roughly the same. Normally it's the actual resistor, the sensor resistor on there, that has a different rating on different boards. So we have to use that in our calculations. But it's well worth checking the specs. Um, and what you're interested in, in the specs, is the what voltage it operates at. So this one operates at 8 volts to 35 volts which is more than uh, sufficient for my motors. My motors are 12 volt motors. And it can deliver up to approximately one amp per phase. Now, that's the important one, one amp per phase. So I've got a two phase motor and it can actually deliver one amp per phase of that. that. Or with a uh, heat sink or a forced airflow, it's rated at two amp per coil. Now coil and phase are interchangeable. So this is a, two amp per phase so I need uh, my motors are actually uh, two amp per phase motors so they're right on their border lines what you want, really want is a stepper driver that can deliver over that and what you do is trim down the actual uh, potentiometer on the actual stepper driver to actually get you down to the reference voltage that you need to deliver the right kind of uh, power to the right kind of current to your actual stepper motor and that's what we'll be doing in this video. All right, just going to quickly show you this board and the actual drivers sitting on there. You can actually see how small these drivers are. So this is a, a biro, and you're going to have to read some certain resistor values off of this, so the sense resistor values to actually do your calculations to trim these. Um, I've opened up this side of the board, and you can see the protection capacitor in there, and the micro step in sets and this is a version for uh global board with a arduino nano sitting on there and to get the micro step in work you have to actually make some modifications to this board because these are actually rigged up wrong i'm using 12 volt motors so i'm using the power this side this is 12 volt power supply and you can see the 12 volts, max 12 volts is obscured by the actual power input. And this is an actual 24 volt board. You can actually take 24 volts, but 24 volts come in here. So if you look here, it says max in 24 volts to here. So if you try to stick 24 volts in here, you'll blow your nano. Heat sinks are on here because I will need two amps from here. These are rated two amps with the actual heat sinks or additional cooling and what i need to do is actually find the sense resistors on here and read the value so i can actually determine the uh voltage uh, voltage reference to actually adjust these potentiometers here depending on the manufacturer if we turn this clockwise or anti-clockwise will either increase or decrease depending who it's made by this can differ. So some manufacturers, if you turn it clockwise, will increase the value. Some manufacturers, when you turn it clockwise, will decrease the value. So this is the formula that I'll be using to actually calculate the VREF. So this has been rearranged here. So VREF equals eight times I max, which is the current per phase, times RCS. So down here you see RCS is the current sense resistor. Now my sense resistor, as we saw before in the video, had a rating of R100. So there is a site that you can go to and it's called rbr.com. There we go. So this one here, so I can actually place my resistor in here at 100 and calculate, calculate it so it's 0 0.10 so that's good so we've got that so if we jump back to the calculation so this will be the VREF will equals 8 times I max which is the amps per phase of the actual stepper motor so mine's 2 so 8 times 2 times 0 0.1 for the sense resistor. So 8 
times 2 times 0.1 that equals 1.6 and here I've just double checked my working so I've used this formula here and I've put 1.6 which is my VREF divided by 8 times the RCS which is 0.1 and it comes out as 2 amps so I know for a fact that this is correct it's well worth double checking those just in case you've gone wrong so 1.6 is what I'll be looking for on my voltmeter when I probe the potentiometer on the stepper stick so we're going to do that now